Not too long ago, I got a very good question. Well, I get a lot of very good questions, but I got a very good question regarding trimming brass. The question was not so much how do I trim it or how can I tell if a case is too long, those sorts of things. Instead, the question was, what if my case is too short? What do I do then? Do I have to chuck that case? That's a really, really good question. And I think I was able to answer that question pretty well, but I was thinking about this. Um, I need to answer that really fully, and that's what this video is all about. It's going to be a short video, uh, but I, I want to really address that question super well. Now, you might find some cases, 5.56 five, cases I've seen that fall into the too short category. Remember, we are making our measurements after we have deep primed and full length resize those cases. So here I have a nine millimeter case. We see it all the time in these pistol cases that they are too short. How do I know that they're too short? Well, I use this. This is a handy little gauge and it tells me instantly if the case is too long. This one's pretty good, not too bad at all. How about this one? That one's not too bad. Check this one. Yeah, that one is visibly too short. So what do I do? Do I have to chuck this one? There's no way I can lengthen it out. Well, what we do is we're gonna go back to the SAMI spec standard. And you can simply do a search online for SAMI spec, your particular case you're looking at, nine millimeter Luger, nine by 19, nine millimeter Parabellum, those sorts of things. And you're gonna find a spec sheet just like this. And if we look near the top, the top on this spec sheet shows the case dimensions, SAMI spec case dimensions, and below is the SAMI spec um, chamber dimensions. So we need to focus on this one. And here we have the overall length is 0 0.754 inches, and then there's a minus after it. So within spec, this case could be 0 0.010 inches shorter than that maximum length. In other words, a hundredth of an inch shorter. So this is where we need to break out our digital uh, caliper, digital micrometer uh, caliper, officially, correctly. I'm gonna calibrate this, zero this out, and for this case to fall within SAMI specs, it has to be 0 0.754 or as low as 0 0.744. So we just subtracted, real simple, subtracted that one one hundredth from it. Let me go ahead and get these jaws opened up and measure this thing. Um, and what we're seeing is that this one is right there at the minimum SAMI spec, 0 0.744. So it barely makes it. But this is okay. It makes SAMI spec, not a real problem. We could load that one and still load safe and reliable ammunition. If you're using a gauge like this, a, a too short uh, falling outside SAMI spec will really show a lot of light uh, between the case and its designated maximum length. So, uh, pretty darn easy way to do it. But how would you know if you didn't know what that spec really was? So not too hard to do, and I hope this answers the question for lots of folks to help them craft safe and reliable ammunition. Thanks for watching.